Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight I have two pretty expensive bottles of water that I'm going to compare. These are both from the same store, East End Food Co-op in Pittsburgh. And so, first water is Maple Tree Water from Greenfield Farms. This is $3.69 per bottle. This comes from Greenfield Farms in Worcester, Ohio. And the whole deal with this is, this is water that comes out of a tree. Like when it rains and snows, the tree collects the water from the roots, and then it comes out as sap, and this is like the sap water that comes out of the trees. It's like a company that hires Amish people and Mennonites uh, who do farming, and this is one of the products they make. Um, I'm guessing that the company itself is not Amish, because they have a website, and they have social media pages and stuff like that, so I'm guessing the company itself is not Amish. I'm guessing they just hire... Amish workers. Um, so this is pretty expensive, you know, almost four dollars just for one bottle, but I'm guessing it's going to taste like a, sort of like a syrupy taste, so we'll find out in a little bit. Next up is called Tourmaline Spring. It's kind of a weird name, but I think that's how you pronounce it. Tourmaline Spring from Sacred Living Water. This bottle is three dollars and nineteen cents per bottle. So this is another expensive one. These two combined are almost $7 for two bottles of water. It's a lot more expensive than the tap. So this is a bottle from Maine. It's from a naturally occurring geothermal hot spring where the water, water bubbles out of the ground and it's just naturally filtered through the soil. And then it goes through a pipe and it's a gravity fed pipe and it's bottled about 50 feet away from the source. And all of that stuff sounded very familiar to me. If you're a longtime fan, that might have sounded very familiar to you. Because last year, I reviewed a bottle of water that had all those same characteristics. It's from Maine. It's from a geothermal hot spring. It's bottled 50 feet away from the source. That was for Summit Spring wa raw water. And I found out that this water is from that same exact source. I think some company, um, Sacred Living Water, I think they just hire... Summit Springs to bottle this and then they resell it under a different brand name. Uh, but raw water was a fantastic water. I have not tried this yet, but I just I know Summit Springs has very high quality water. It tasted delicious the last time I had it. And um, so let's open them up and just do a taste test. This has a thick plastic, it's kind of like a smart water bottle. Also, a big full-size lid instead of the, the cheaper half-sized ones. Yeah, it's really good. Very similar to raw water. You know, slightly different for some reason, <laughs> even though it's from the same exact spot. I don't know, maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. I, I haven't had it in a couple months, but let's try the maple tree water. This also has a Snapple type of lid. I reviewed a different sap water about a week ago, and it also had the same kind of Snapple lid. And I bet it's going to make that sound when I turn it off. Yep. It smells a little bit like bark. Yeah, a little bit like bark. doesn't taste like syrup. You know, I was expecting it to taste like pancakes, like sh like sugary syrup, but nope. It's more of like a bark, a bark taste. Like I bet if I um, fill up a cup of water, put some pieces of bark in there and let it set overnight, I bet it would taste pretty similar to this. You don't taste it going down, but after you swallow, you can taste it there in, in your mouth, the, the bark taste. I mean, the thing is, if I did not know this was tree water, if I just drank this out of the tap, 
I would be like, whoa, there's something wrong with this water. <laughs> the only reason it's okay to me is because I know it's meant to taste that way. I mean, it's not terrible. But this is really expensive, though, just for some bark flavor. $3.69 for this. It goes down really smooth, though. That, that is a, um, a smooth one. This is a good water too. I remember the raw water came in. I think it was a two liter container. It was a really huge container. And I would drink the whole... I think it was a liter and a half. I would drink the whole thing and feel fine. Normally, if you drink really cheap water, like Ice Mountain, if you drink a lot of this, you're not going to feel great. But with this, it just goes down smooth no aftertaste like this is a good quality of water yeah Maybe like a hint of lemon or something. Maybe uh, mix in some bark into, into a cup of water and add like a drop of lemon to it. You get this maple water. Okay. So out of these two, I would say the termulin, termuline water is the better one. Even though I, I don't really like this um, branding. I don't really like the branding on either of these, to be honest. Their logo is covering up text on the bottle. It says the original behind the, the logo, but you can't read the text. Isn't that really bad graphic design? They should make the logo smaller and raise it up a little bit so you can see the words, the original. <laughs> it's just really bizarre that they would actually publish it like this without fixing that. And I think Termuline, it's cool that they have like this reflective thing on it. But it's it's like a weird um, branding to me also. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of a crystal or a diamond or something. That's what it's supposed to represent. But this is also just weird branding. And I don't even know how to pronounce this still. I watched the video where the guy pronounced it in the video. And that was a minute ago. I can't even remember what it is. Termuline Spring. I think Summit Spring is better branding. Anyway, Termuline Spring is the better one out of the two. So Termuline Spring is moving on to the next round. Congratulations, Termuline.